Due to the ongoing forest fire in the northwestern Turkish province of Sanakale, maritime traffic between the Aegean Sea and the Sea of Marmara has been temporarily halted. The wildfire had prompted the evacuation of at least 10 villages, accommodating 1,251 people. Firefighters battled a forest fire in northwest Turkey for a second day on August 23, prompting mass evacuations and causing shipping to be suspended through the nearby Dardanelles Strait. More than 100 cargo vessels were waiting to transit the strait, which was closed until further notice to allow helicopters and other aircraft to collect water to help douse the flames, the Tribica shipping agency said. The Dardanelles Strait, a narrow and historically significant passage connecting the Aegean Sea to the Black Sea, serves as a vital shipping route for vessels traveling between Europe and Asia. Tugboats are prepared to intervene if the fire approaches the seafront, providing additional support to the ongoing firefighting operations, the Transport Ministry said in a statement. <laughs> Agriculture and Forestry Minister Ibrahim Umakli said the forest fire started at 12.30 p.m. local time had prompted evacuation of at least 10 villages in its path. The minister stated that the fire affected about a 15.1 kilometers line, which is about 1,500 hectares. Over 337 households accommodating 1,251 people in 10 villages in the region were evacuated for precautionary purposes. The radar base in the province was evacuated as the flames reached the military zone in the region. A nearby university campus and a nursing were also evacuated upon the approach of the flames. A state hospital hosting 150 patients is also at risk due to the close proximity of the fires, but has not yet been evacuated. Minister Yu Makli on August 23 said that 88 animals cared by villagers died and 83 people were referred to hospitals because they were affected by the smoke.
San Nicol municipality shared that its teams have been trying to evacuate the animals living in the area. Most of the villagers in the province engage in animal husbandry and agriculture. The state-run Disaster and Emergency Management Authority AFAD, stated that 25 villages and 2,279 subscribers could not be supplied with electricity due to the fire. Minister Umakli also stated that 29 fires on August 22 broke out across the country and 26 of them were extinguished. The fire in Tanakau province is thought to be human-caused as it broke out very close to the settlements. Authorities stated that the fire was not completely under control, but the affected area was surrounded by the teams. As the forest fire continues to blaze, the efforts by the local authorities remain unwavering. The teams are working tirelessly to mitigate the situation and return life to normal. Despite the circumstances, the spirit of these teams remains unbroken, highlighting their commitment to their duty and to the people of Santa Cala. Therefore, amidst the raging fire, the story of Tana Kale is one of resilience, rapid action, and steadfast resolution, portraying humanity's ceaseless struggle against nature's wrath. It is a testament to our resilience, our capacity to adapt, and our perseverance in the face of adversity.